Hey guys and welcome back. In the last video I was showing you guys how to store in low values through for example I was doing store the value 2 to the address 200 hacks. I was telling a lot of hacks to remind myself that I'm storing in a hexadecimal and uh, what a hexadecimal is is pretty much a base 15 way of counting and it's a much you say good way to represent a binary nibble and a what a nibble is pretty much for bits a computer pretty much the standard one, one byte which is eight I'm sorry eight uh, bits and a binary is pretty much a way to so well it's a great way to represent a computer because a computer pretty much is a machine has thousands of these switches like a light switch is pretty much the standard example if the light is off it has generally re it represents the, the value zero no electricity and if it's one there is some electricity in the wire going in a it's the way it's the main way that we can communicate with the computer and uh, here you have our standard base 10 counting system so if you I made this table here, over here to uh, illustrate how how this the difference between them and over here let's go through them over here we have the value 0 which is pretty much 0 all across and the same thing happens but now we are gonna represent the value 1 in decimal you have 1 in 1 it's pretty much is the same but then when you come here to the number 2 we have represent in binary as a 1 0 so remember binary is a base 2 so there's only zeros and ones so pretty much when you have a 9 and you wanna go 1 up so 9 plus 1 becomes a 10 so we're pretty much carrying it over and, and then it becomes the next value so so I'll, we'll go through the rest of the samples so sex and is the same and as you can see 0 0 1 1 only have zeros and ones value 3 so now we're at the 4 pretty much the same 19 think of night we add one so then we push this over over here to be carrying it it becomes a hundred since there's only the values zero and one space two so that decimals allow it's a base 10 binary is base two and a hexabasmo is a base 15 so this thing will go on for a while and let's look over here so it's going perfectly well and let's when you get to the value 10 so like I was saying 9 plus 1 instead of representing the letter 10 in the hex we starting assigning some letters so letter A so 10 10 is A it's carrying over the 1 and 11 is B C D E and the last one is F one 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 so that's the max value that this can have a at least a nibble so like it so a standard computer I was gonna have an eight byte eight bits in a in one byte meaning that even a the lowest if you ever uh, program in a higher language even a char which is pretty much one byte which is eight of this um, so you can represent it at least as two f's so ff will be one 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 so if if i were to put the value five one byte five b the first the first value be zero one zero one and b 
one zero one one. But as you were seeing in the example, I was storing the value two hundred hex to the value, for example, value two to the address two hundred hex, and that's because the sixty five hundred two has a sixteen bit memory location so so by by default the max value we have is f f f f and uh that's pretty much it for the illustration uh we're gonna go to code and i'll show you how this all work okay here we are of uh eclipse instead of the 6502 emulator that, that we have been using and that's because it doesn't really support the binary system. Or also I'd like to show you guys the Octo and something to watch, uh, watch out for. Octo is pretty much a base ace sys uh, counting system, but it's rarely used unless it's on a. They have they have some use, but uh, you probably will never see it. And uh, here we are. It's pretty much the standard hello word for the Atari 2600 everybody compile and run let me compile and, sh and show you guys this is like the first thing you put on just to test it out just this uh, rainbow colors to show you the the Atari 2600 the, what is it called the TI graphic interface chip just to show you how it works, you know, it's pretty much like I said, it's the, the first code that everybody wants to, sh to check if it's working. And over here on the top, as you can see, we have the vertical blank, and uh, on the bottom, we have the overscan, and the vertical blank is this green line, and the overscan is this black line. And, and I'll go through everything later, it's only to show you uh, it's working. And uh, what do you want? He's pretty much going to just focus on this vertical blank. This green, I'll go back to it. This green color over here, there's 30, like, there's 37 lines over here. And uh, we're going to focus on that. Uh, I'm pretty much going to just be focus, focusing on this part. And uh, I'll exp we go through this uh, more in depth later. But pretty much. What's happening here is storing the decimal, uh, starting zero to the register X. This is the label you're going to jump to. Then we are increasing the value of register X by one every time. Then you're storing the WSYNC on the value of A, which is zero, to, to this location. This I'll go over this later. And then comparing the value of register x to 37. And then we'll jump back and so forth. But uh, as you can see, let me run it. There's 37 lines over here. And if I go to debug mode on my Stellar emulator and go to its assembly, here you can see we increase load x with 0. Increasing X, storing uh, A, uh, storing on the value of A to WSYNC. And here, where you want to go is to pay attention, we're comparing X to the value 25 hex. Like I said, if there's a pound, it means the literal value. If it's no pound, it's an address. I'll go over that later as well. If there's a dollar sign, it means a hex, hex hexadecimal, 25. So to show you over here, I want to show you how this 37 over here is actually 35. Uh, let me uncomment and have this code over here. Let's run it. It's the same thing as before. It looks about the same. And if we go back over here. Compare x to the hexadecimal 25. So just to show you guys, 
if it's something bigger, let's say 60. Let's compile and run. As you can see, the overscan, I mean, my bad, the vertical blank is way bigger. And if you go over here, we're comparing the value of, uh, the, comparing the value on raster X 3C instead of uh, we had over here 25. So let's uh, 37 over here. And now let me show you if you have the dollar sign is hexadecimal. That's according to the decimal assembler. Uh, other assemblers can have different rules of how they assemble the code. But on the decimal, dollar signs means hexadecimal, and the percent means a binary, binary code. If you compile and run, go back to debug. Oh, I already passing. Uh, here it is. Dollar sign 25, hexadecimal 25. Perfect. And uh, as you can see here on the bottom, like, like I said, the default byte is 8 codes, I mean 8 bits, my bad. So you have here 8 bits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The only difference from the top to, to the bottom is that there's two zeros. So if you compile, Debug. I was passing it. Uh, here it is 25 hex. So if you delete this, you just like the one above, compile, and Dasm knows how it works with this. Now, zero, zero, comment this back. Now, oh, and this is the octo. Let's, let me compile, just to show you first how Octo works, show that it works, here, dollar sign 25, which means 25 hex, it's perfect, but uh, you see, this zero precedes the number, so uh, be very careful, so, because zero means Octo, so if you it works to zero seven, like I said, because it's base eight. It's starting from zero, zero to seven, eight value. So seven. Well, uh, let's go see hex seven. Perfect. It works. Let's see fifteen. Octo fifteen. As you see. Uh, hash 0d, which is another value. Well, I don't really use Octo that much, but I know it's base 8. Uh, yeah, just be very careful though. As you see, it precedes by a 0. So if you want 15, just put 15. Don't put 0, 15, like a binary. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so see you guys on the next video. See ya.